welcome to Lori Farm, and this is Chaos Garden. Today we're going to be harvesting some stuff out of here. But if you haven't followed us before, so Shane went through and plowed this field and we took all of our extra seeds that we had from planting everywhere else and we just kind of threw them on the ground in a chaotic manner, thus the name Chaos Garden. And um, as you can see, it's really flourished and done quite well. Some kale right in here, which is ready to be picked. We have dill and sunflowers, cantaloupe, pumpkins, uh, corn, obviously, and various other herbs and things just from leftover seeds. We even have asparagus in here. Um, so the kale's done really well. The thing about kale is it's one of those items you do want to 100% make organic and grow from organic seeds because they do have the highest pesticides contents. So you want to make sure that you're not ingesting that because these have awesome properties to them. They have a ton of calcium, which you don't get from a whole lot of other stuff. These are super high in iron. So if you're not a meat eater, these are an excellent source of iron. They're also filled with magnesium and all your vitamins pretty much, A, B, C, E, even K. So they're an excellent uh, food source and a definite superfood. Just make sure that they're organic and you're not spraying pesticides on your um, food. Another great one in here that's flourished really well surprisingly would be our dill. It's kind of hard to find because it is chaos garden so it's chaos but it's um, here's a good one. This one's actually seeding out. Uh, dill's been used for years for medicinal purposes. They're great for fresh breath. They also clean your mouth. It also tastes delicious. <laughs> Um, these are also really high in pretty much any, every single vitamin. It's kind of like nature's multivitamin, to be honest with you. They're really, really good. We use them specifically for um, pickling. So this is where most of our pumpkins ended up, um, oddly enough. We didn't plan it like this, but it kind of just, they grew their way out because that's what pumpkins do. They're a creeping plant. They just climb around. And you can't really step anywhere in here without knocking into a pumpkin. I got one right over here, and I have some right over there. They're literally everywhere in here. Um, pumpkins are a good multi-purpose. They're actually a fruit. They're a multi-purpose fruit because you can eat them, which a lot of people don't do, which I think is, I mean, they eat them in like pumpkin pies, but you can just roast them and eat them raw too. People used to think that pumpkins were good for snake bites. I don't know if there's any validity to it, but it was a common use of them. Also, they use them, they used to use them to get rid of freckles. So I might have to try that. We'll see if it actually works. But we planted them because we like to make like pumpkin bars, pies. We like to roast the seeds. They're really good for, um, a body cleanse, specifically parasites. What they do is they paralyze the parasites in your body when you eat them, so it makes it easier to flush them out. So they're a good multi-purpose, and obviously for Halloween, who doesn't want to carve a pumpkin? So we have abundance of them. I'm super excited to show you in a couple of weeks, it's picking time in October, how well they've actually done. It's kind of exciting. I don't even remember planting this one, but we have cilantro here which is awesome because it's a really good heavy metal detox. It's really good in salsas and you can also throw it in salads or you can eat it raw. Um, I'm lucky enough to not be one of the people that inherited that gene that makes cilantro taste like soap, so it actually tastes good to me. I'm sorry if it tastes like soap for you. But it's really beneficial and really good for your body, so I suggest throwing it in with any meal you possibly can. And again, always grow it organically, specifically for this one, because it is such a good detox herb. All right, well, let's walk in there and see what we can find. We got beans already right here that are growing pretty well. Pumpkins right in here. You really gotta watch your step in here because of how closely planted it is. It's pretty easy to smash stuff, but we got little pumpkin right here. More pumpkins right over here I'm trying not to step on. 
Corn can actually get 13 feet tall if it has the right conditions. Um, corn actually in every other country is called maize. I mean, we all know it's maize, but we are pretty much one of the only countries that actually call it corn, which is kind of funny. So the beans here, as you can see, actually just naturally climbed up the corn stalk here and is flowering and actually growing beans. Now, the um, Native Americans actually used to plant the three sisters being beans, corn, and then it was like a uh, creeping crop, usually like cucumber or um, pumpkin, and that was because they would help each other out. The creeping crop would cover the ground to keep the weeds down, and then the beans would climb up the corn as a pole, which a lot of people do pole gardening with beans, which is why they're called pole beans. But so nature did it itself, so it's kind of cool to see it have done it, and we didn't do it on purpose. It just kind of found a way. The beans and the corn are growing fabulously. We also have pumpkins right in here, and they're budding out really nicely. I have a really good one right in here coming through. It'll be interesting to see how the pumpkins grow when they're higher up like this. I imagine when they get to a certain weight, they'll sink down, but right now they're actually, you can see them budding on the tips where they're flowering, which is pretty cool. That one specifically doesn't have one, but. There is a ton of beans right in here too just picked that one. And here's a little pumpkin wrapped around the corn. The only downside to planting a chaos garden is navigating your way through it. Oh, giant pumpkin right here, so that's really cool. Another pumpkin right in through here. Actually, quite a few I've passed. I think I've passed about 10. Some beans growing up right in here, flowering out nicely also. So I'm pretty excited to see how this turns out in the next couple of weeks because um, the corn is getting really tall. Ooh, and right here we have a nice sunflower patch. I'm hoping these come to head here soon. They even got some beautiful ladybugs on them, which are always nice to have in your garden. Ladybugs are good because they um, eat the bad types of beetles that you do not want in your garden. So always encourage them. You can also tell when your garden is doing well when you have ladybugs. It's a very good sign. This part of Chaos Garden, which is the front of it, uh, isn't growing quite as well, but we kind of expected that because this part of our yard is a little more sandy. But one of the benefits of still growing through here is at the end of the season, when it all comes down, it'll just add that biomass into uh, the soil. So next year, because we are definitely doing this again, Next year the soil will be built up and hopefully will be a less sandy and things will grow a little bit better. That being said, we're still flourishing over here. Um, there's pumpkins right in here growing up. I'm really glad the pumpkins did as well as they have been in here because we did lose our back pumpkin patch, which is where the dirt mound is, and usually I plant hundreds of pumpkins back there. So I was a little bit sad this year thinking we weren't going to have as many, especially since I had already bought them. But since we threw them down, I'm pleasantly surprised because I think we will still be good on pumpkins by the amount that we have of plants and how well they're doing here. The other nice thing about doing it this way is we really haven't watered at all and everything is growing great. So even more green beans. Green beans seem to be pretty hardy and a good thing to throw down in here. They're everywhere. Oh, looks like we have a little toad friend in here. We also haven't weeded back through here as you can see, but it doesn't seem to be affecting the plants at all because like I said, everything is growing really well. You can't take a step in here without bumping into something that's producing. It really started off as an experiment, but it turned out into something that I think we'll do every single year because it was easy, super fun, and is doing really well. This is probably my favorite part, is just all of the uh, pumpkins coming out. It'll be really interesting to see how this plays out from the storm damage. Looks like we actually have some corn growing right in through here. It's little, but it's coming. Four 
for beans climbing up corn. I don't know why I find this so amusing, but it, it's really kind of pretty the way it climbs up there and flowers out. It's surprising how quickly beans grow and how long they actually get, especially down in here where they're kind of shaded. You wouldn't think they would do so well. And in about a week, I'm gonna have a ton more, it looks like, because there's a bunch of baby beans on there. It's really kind of pretty how the pumpkins just kind of grow up and vine into everything. I mean, these are really high up. They're dang near as tall as me. Thanks for checking out Chaos Garden with me today. And if you want to see our channel grow, please like and subscribe. Thanks for checking out our Chaos Garden. <laughs> I don't know why that's funny. <laughs> Waiting for the cars to stop for like a second. Please like and subscribe. <laughs>